My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question, standing in my name on the order paper. The Government recognises the pressures councils are facing. The 2023-24 Local Government Finance Settlement provided councils with a 9% increase in core spending power in total, demonstrating how the Government stands behind councils. Councils are responsible for managing their budgets. Any decision to issue a Section 114 notice is taken locally by the Chief Finance Officer. The Government does stand ready to speak to any council ha that has concerns about its ability to manage its finances. My Lords, I thank the Noble Baroness for her answer. And the Institute for Fiscal Studies report last month concluded that the current funding systems are not fit for purpose. They pointed out stark geographical differences in spending for local government, with the most deprived 20% of areas receiving 9% less than their estimated needs, while the, the least deprived 20% received 15% more. If the government's serious about levelling up, and the 700-page bill we've just completed is not ministerial flim-flam, when will the government set out the time frame for funding reforms that align local government funding with levelling up goals? Well, my Lords, the existing system for local government funding does direct increased resource to those councils uh, with greater need. We do understand the desire for clarity on distributional um, reform, and we have confirmed that we will not be proceeding with the review of relative needs and resources or a business rates reset in the current spending review period. But we do remain committed to improving local government finance in the next parliament, and we will work closely with local partners and take stock of the challenges and opportunities they face before consulting on any further potential funding reform. My lords, uh, my lords I, I, uh, the noble lady, the minister, will understand that due to the cuts that have taken place in local government, uh, there are some authorities where it is said that in real terms they are not yet back to where they were in 2010. That being so, would the government consider a major review and the fundamental um, funding of local government services? Well, my Lords, I think I just set out the position on um, a broader reform to the funding system for local government, but the government does recognise uh, the pressures that local authorities are facing. At the Spending Review 2021, the government confirmed councils in England would receive uh, £4.8 billion of new grant funding between 2022-23 and 2024-25 to meet pressures in social care and other services. For example, we also recognised in autumn statement last year that uh, the position on inflation had changed the position for councils and set out additional funding to respond to that also. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord is it not tragic? that uh, Birmingham, once the jewel of local government, thanks to Joseph Chamberlain and his son, Neville, a reforming Lord Mayor in the early 20th century, should have been reduced to its present pass. My Lords, what is to be done about this uh, great council? Should it be split up? Um, its present position is truly tragic. Um, well, my Lords, I believe as we speak, uh, my right honourable friend, the Leveling Up Secretary, is giving a statement to the House of Commons on action to be taken in um, Birmingham City uh, Council, where I believe it is the Government's uh, intention to appoint uh, commissioners uh, uh, in that instance, um, but there will be a period of consultation, I believe, before that's brought forth. My Lord. My Lord. Uh, my Lords, the, the, the uh, Noble Baroness, the Minister, has said <clears throat> that the Government has finally recognised that councils are facing financial difficulties. But the Government has been defunding councils over a number of years, so that even with the relatively uh, small increase this year, they are still 25% down on, on the levels they had in 2010. How does that fit? with the levelling up agenda. Yeah. Well, my Lords, I don't recognise uh, the figures that the noble lady uh, put forward, but she will know, having been part of the coalition government in 2010, the situation that this government inherited from the benches opposite, and that required difficult decisions to be taken at the time. 
the benches opposite may not like uh, being reminded of their record, but it still uh, remains a fact. The reality is that in the recent spending review, we have uh, committed more money to local government services, and that was increased further last year at the autumn statement in light of the inflationary pressures that councils are facing. My, my lord, lord my you know, this government can promise what it likes for the next election, but the fact is, you're not going to be in power. So all those promises come to nothing. And what this government has done is reduced council budget, made severe cuts. And I heard only today from councillors from East Hertfordshire Council that the government's cancelled four big infrastructure projects. How can councils carry on if this government doesn't support them? And you aren't. Well, my lords, this government is supporting councils. This is not about what is happening after the next election. In this spending review period, councils will receive £4.8 billion of new grant funding, the largest annual e increase in core funding in over a decade, and that was further topped up at the autumn, spending, uh, autumn statement last year, recognising the pressures that councils face. We think councils do an excellent job up and down the country, and we do support them. My lords. The noble Minister agrees with me that one of the reasons so many local authorities are in such a financial problem or in trouble these days is because there is a lack of external scrutiny and transparency since the scrapping of the Audit Commission in 2015. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't uh, agree with the noble lord. We have seen a situation in recent years where a small number of local authorities took on excessive uh, debt through their commercial strategies and investment. Government has both taken action to bring this practice uh, to an end and revise the framework by which local authorities can borrow and invest. And the, local, the levelling up bill expands statutory powers to directly tackle excessive risk within uh, the local government capital system. My lords, my lords. Scrapping was one of the best functions that the previous coalition government actually took out. The, co the audit commission wasted billions of pounds of public money. Well, my uh, noble friend sets out the rationale for the decision uh, taken, and the government has made sure uh, that in its place we do have strong controls to ensure local government spending is uh, done in the best possible way. My Lords, arts facilities will be amongst the first to go when local authorities have no money. The wonderful Lightbox Gallery in Woking, not far from me, is now under threat, as indeed is elsewhere funding to symphony orchestras and much else. Will the Government, so I repeat what others have asked, will the Government properly fund our local authorities, which have been underfunded for years, so that all our cultural and leisure amenities are allowed to survive and thrive? Yeah. Well, my lords, um, I can repeat what I've said about um, the recent spending review being the largest increase to core spending power for local government in over a decade. But I would add to that that we've put significant support into the arts and uh, culture sector, not only through uh, the pandemic and the cultural recovery fund, but, for example, uh, support to swimming pools. Uh, in the last autumn statement, who are uh, facing high energy costs in um, the current period of inflation. So we do continue to provide that specific support as well. Yeah. Fiddling the local government's finance system for years now, and don't we need an academic study now that will look coming forward with a plan for local government funding, which takes into account deprivation and takes into, into account the need to spend? Um, well, I don't agree with the noble lord's um, analysis, but as I said to the noble lady um, in the first uh, question, the approach does take into account uh, relative needs for councils. We do recognise um, that this may be need to, to look at again, but to provide councils with certainty that will not be done during this spending review period, it will be looked at after the next parliament. My lords, we currently give three quarters of local councils their grants from the centre. It's a higher figure than anywhere in Europe except tiny Malta, and hence the assumption on all sides that ultimately the solvency of local authorities is for central government. But wouldn't my noble friend the minister agree that it would be healthier for democracy if local councils raised a higher proportion of their own budgets so that there was a proper link between taxation, representation and expenditure? Yeah. Well, my lords, um, the government is moving uh, towards such steps, for example, through mayoral combined authorities and other areas where devo we're devolving both uh, greater control of funding and powers uh, to those areas um, for action. And then with that also comes greater accountability. 
Can my, can my noble friend say whether the government has received any proposals from Her Majesty's loyal opposition um, as to where additional funding for local government is to be provided from? Um, I, I have not received any such representations, but perhaps they've gone to the Department for Levelling Up and I can ask them if they've ever received such representations from the opposition front bench.